Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and welcome to Survive Hanoi for the very first time on an F1 game. Yes, we're back with the Survive series. We've got the PC version of the F1 game, an extreme damage mod installed onto the car, and the task is very simple. Trying to survive one entire lap without breaking any bit of our car. Anything that flies off, we have to restart the lap. We're on a keyboard as well to add to the challenge, and we also have to finish with in the top 10 for it to count otherwise I could just dawdle at the back but very excited today because it's the very first time we get to do the survive challenge at a brand new circuit it's been a while since we've had a completely new circuit on the F1 game of course we used to have a bit of spice back in the day in 2013 and whatnot with the kind of classic tracks and we've had a few over the years but you know to, on this year's game we've got a double whammy we've got Zandvoort as well and Hanoi but I thought we'd kick off with Hanoi because well I mean if you've seen the layout I think this is going to be absolute carnage raring to go very excited hope you guys are be sure to smash that like button if you are looking forward to survive hanoi and let's just go out there and uh, let the carnage ensue. I really am looking forward to this, but also quite nervous how this is going to go. Because it is a new circuit, so I have no idea how the AI are going to act, you know, with the damage mod. Like, there's a way they act without the mod, and then when that, the mod's involved, you just don't know how they're going to actually crash. Because the crashes can be so sensitive and so easy. And, you know, over the years, I've kind of gotten used to seeing a pattern at certain corners, at certain tracks, you know. But this circuit, obviously, completely brand new to us. So, I... Uh, uh, it's going to be really interesting. So let's get into this and get going. Hopefully this time the keyboard is actually going to work. Yes, is that is that going to work there? Holding A for the first time. Fire a light and we are underway for our first attempt at Survive Hanoi or Vietnam. Don't really know which way to say it really, which one's preferred. But into turn one on the outside. Oh my! Oh, what? oh come on! No! I got taken out by the tag team of Williams cars. Oh, it's going quite well. I was just so surprised the car on the right of me exploded without breaking uh, my car. I mean, look at it. He just hits the... <laughs> I was lucky not to actually break my car at that point. But then what did it was the uh, the Williams right behind me then um, just took me out, I think. Yeah, it's a, it literally... I was fine. I was actually going to go on. But then Latifi just decided to, to, to finish the job. I think that maybe sets the tone for the entire video. You know, there may be many... You know, just slow crashes because I'm sort of trying to suss out where on earth to go. That was quite a good start, though. Uh, you know, we didn't really have to worry too much about being brake checked too much on the outside. So I think the outside's working for us. Just make sure we block off the car on the right here, like Russell was trying to do. Just stop a car going around the outside. Easy does it. Oh, front wing flying up ahead. We're good. We're decent. A lot of end plates flying, but no puncher yet. Through turn one, we've made it through, but every corner, <laughs> this first sector is so chaotic anyway, as is without the mod. Um, let's alone with me driving with a keyboard as well. Uh, but we made it through unscathed, actually. Pretty okay. But we're only P15, remember? We need to get up to P10. And I'm actually being overtaken by the Williams guy. I think I may have forgotten to turn ERS to auto, you know. I think so. So that may be hindering me a little bit as we go around the outside, though, of the Alpha Tauri Empire. Oh, Ghastly! Of course it was you. Well, we'll get the ghastly crash out of the way early then, I guess. Right, fire lights. This is the third attempt now. Um, should we try on the inside? Let's try on the inside just for a bit of difference here. Or the middle, rather, because Grosjean blocks me off there. Or Magnuson, whoever it is. A has. Oh, oh, what the? Are you all right? Oh, come on. Twice I've been attacked from the rear. This is a very strange. Usually I'm the one crashing into things. But people are actively taking me out from behind. This time it's the Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo betraying me. Now we're in attempt number four. And uh, I'm not feeling good about it, to be honest. Because we get a shocking start this time. And the AI are just swarming left and right. I'm going to get, you know, either brake checked or slammed the back. Oh, okay. No. Oh, we're good. Science is out. We're good. P12. Oh, what a go that was. Okay. Looking good. That was a mess. A massive kerfuffle up ahead. We're looking better. Ah. Uh, we just... Take it easy through there. I've actually managed to do that with some sort of finesse, actually. We managed to hit Apex there with a keyboard. Right. You know what? We've actually made loads of progress here. But now, there's still very tricky sections to go on. We've got this right to left. And you've got that long straight with the hairpin. And also, I need to get into P10. So, I need to overtake some cars. Do I dare try this overtake down the inside? We've done it so many times in career mode. And, of course, it hasn't worked there. Because I have the finesse of a milk carton float 
with this keyboard because I try to subtly turn to the inside. I have a little, you know, here was my correction of not wanting to keep on riding this curb, but it's, you know, a massive turn on the keyboard and that's enough to just, yeah, well, that's how that ended. Note to self, maybe just, let's, I don't think we can overtake anyone that left-hander. Well, I don't think we can. Um, which may be an issue if we if we can't overtake them there because then I'm gonna have to try and overtake someone on the back straight to that hairpin if I'm not in P10 by then and that's going to be um, Difficult let's set Are you okay? Ghastly that was actually ghastly wasn't it? It was it, 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 it was ghastly wasn't it? Attempt number uh, I think this is six you know I think I've actually been counting along correctly Attempt number six can we so we get past turn, num turn number six you know actual turn six I mean um, let's see. I don't even know what number corner we were at when we crashed with the Alpha. I don't know if it was six or not. I don't really know the track that well. Uh, but we're on the inside now. Kind of getting boxed in by the Haas. Going to follow Magnuson through. He's going to actually not somehow crash with anyone. Um, we've done actually quite... Everyone's done well. There's not been a single crash in the... Oh, I spoke too so... Oh, what the... They're all crashing on the left. I mean, that, that was very interesting there. We're up into P14. We made it through, but that was spectacular. They all spewed off on the left-hand side, right? P14, though. Four places to make up. And we've also got Alfa Romeo looking a little bit punchy. Where is he going to go? Do not try and overtake me here, mate. Ah, uh, Perez. No. Oh! No, what? No. The physics in this game. Are you kidding me? This is... Uh, it's returned. How many games will this go on for? Well, for whatever reason, this extreme damage mod, the physics mean that if someone taps me in the rear end, like this, my front wing is the thing that breaks. It makes no physical sense. Can you imagine if crash physics were actually like this in real life? You know, going on the motorway, someone rear ends you or something like that, and it's no, it's not the rear bumper that breaks, it's the front bumper. The windshield breaks, not the rear window, the, the front windshield. It just doesn't make any sense, and yet it's just common places. We're now very close to the wall. Oh, my, oh. That was well. Even if I did manage to survive that, there's an absolute car park here. There's about five cars enemy that I just tried to park up a turn one. It really is a sorry sight. That is, that is, wow. What a traffic jam that is. That, oh wow. If you had to try and say and explain what survive was, just give them this kind of photo. Like, we're trying to get through this. Guaranteed. Every server, no matter what circuit, new circuit, old circuit, at one point the AI will just park up, like I like to say. And, well, not go shopping in Tesco here, because it's Vietnam. I don't know what the, you know, equivalent is. If, the, if there happens to be a singular person watching, oh, my from God, from v Vietnam, then let me know what the equivalent of Tesco would be. Uh, you know, one of your largest, uh, you know, supermarkets. Let me, let me know, and we can have it ge geographically correct. That phrase, but right now, as I've been talking about that, um, we've actually come out unscathed. No one's crashed. It's a, it's a survive mi- Oh no, I spoke too soon. It was, it was a survive miracle until someone behind me crashed. But we're all good. We're fine. But the only thing is, we're P15. We've got to do some overtaking here to get up into the, into the top ten. Can we get past this next complex? That'll be the next challenge, really. Oh no, 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 no! Oh. Okay, we're making we're making some progress here. I feel like we're now understanding turn one. I'm getting used to the brake zone with the keyboard, sussing out where the space is. There seems to be quite a lot actually on the outside to be fair. Uh, the inside I feel will get pinched in too much out of the apex and you can see this pocket of air is opening up right behind the side so we'll just continue to plow on down the inside but carbon fiber flails, no punches for us thankfully so no massive Baku repeat like we got but we're side by side with the car going to squeeze them out up into P12. It's good. We're getting through this part of the circuit very well but now it's just this uh, next section legal overtake but we don't care about those here at Survive. We're just all about the actual on-track position, but now that oh no the alpha Oh, he's actually trying to overtake me. No, this is never a good sign when AI are trying to overtake me whilst I have to do some overtaking Come on. We've got to get at least one ah! <laughs> I don't know. I'm such an idiot. I turned into the wall oh, This is keyboard driving here. This better. What the hell is that? That is honestly keyboard window licking driving right there. Oh my god, that's abysmal. Maybe I should take a class at keyboard driving. Is that a thing? Can I, can I improve at keyboard driving? Maybe a keyboard career mode series, you know, a little mini series trying to teach myself how to drive better on a keyboard, although that may take the fun out of surviving future games and whatnot, but I think it would save me a lot of heartache, you know? I feel like I do reduce my life by a uh, good ho 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 ha! Oh, come on! Are you all right? 
As I was saying, I think I've reduced my life by a few years every time I do this challenge. Oh, I survived it. I survived this heartache here. As I nearly put myself on the wall. And then we go on. <laughs> And the Alpha just drives it. Look at him. He just drives into me. There's so much space on the left. There's so much space. Why are you driving so openly towards me, man? I made a video with Giovinazzi earlier in the year. I thought we were mates. Best pals, practically. Now he's doing this virtually. God. Right, we go again. Um, on the outside, it seems to be working, although now the space is starting to close up again, because as we do these, uh, retries, oh my, oh, ah, uh, ah, I, I got so panicked I changed camera by accident, and uh, as I was saying, and as was, uh, shown here, as you go on through the retries, the AI do move their lines every attempt, so now you see that was less space than I had last time, and here, I made it work, but then at this point I changed camera, and then I got completely flustered, and then just went straight on. It probably wouldn't have worked, because, as you can see, there is, um, well, an actual tr complete roadblock up ahead. Alright, no messing around here right now. We're gonna go for the full send dive on the outside. Gonna get right close to the wall, but we're gonna finesse it, because we're, we're, we're now pros at this, okay? Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, look at that gap. Gonna steam down the inside like I'm steaming on the weekends after being at the pub. That's, that's okay? gone as well as it would do if I was at the pub and I try to do this challenge. Yeah, cool. All right, we're gonna make it. I've decided we're gonna we're gonna make it back to that right and left hander section because I want to I want to witness the AI on the back straight. I feel like that you know as much chaos as this is right now on turn one. And uh, that turn before the back straight, I feel like the back straight itself with the hairpin will be disastrous. But it doesn't matter because I'm just driving like an absolute goldfish. Go once again this time. We're going to make it through turn one at least as well. But I do want to get to that back straight. So easy, easy, easy. Good. We're actually keeping a pretty decent position. Gasly's on the left. I'm a bit nervous at that. Oh no. The rear end stepped out. Oh, I've done a bit of drifting on a keyboard. And it's actually worked. Right, we kept P15. Oh, a bit wide there on the line. Tighten up. Don't need it. have any AI trying to go down my inside here. Right. I'm just going to remain in P15 here through this right-hander because any attempt is just not going to go well at an overtake. So easy does it. Break here. Just let everyone come through. They're all single file here. Let's not break the status quo. And then, oh, no. Don't understeer there. Oh, no. Come on. Are you all right? <sighs> Why? Come on. <laughs> Oh, so Latifi, uh, uh, you know what, Latifi, he's crashed into me like this twice now. He's just, come on, lad. I'm losing my voice already, I feel. It's already getting quite raspy. I'm not even, I don't, I don't feel like I've even really, you know, exclaimed that much this, this episode. But already my voice is going. By the end of this, I may have no voice at all. And now we find ourselves in the middle where I don't want to be. Um, but we're going to have to make the most of it as we try and go on the the inside now for the first time in an attempt. And it's actually worked out okay, you know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gained. Oh! And I spoke way too soon because the Williams, yet again, was ready to take me out. This time it was George Russell. I nearly almost praised the inside there. But no, the Williams had to ruin it. Looks like the Williams are the caterums of this episode. If you, if you get that reference, then you've been here since the very start in the OG days. Right, we're on the way again. Oh, I'm actually going to try the inside, you know. It worked quite well up until the exit of the corner. So let's uh, just keep in the middle here. Then, you know, get to the inside. Kind of follow Grosjean through, maybe. Cut the corner a little bit here, but that's fine. And you know what? It's actually worked out quite well. I've not gained positions, though. That was the only thing. Like, I gained more positions on the outside. But I've survived it. Are you all right? Engine off. Engine off. Ah. Hmm. Remain calm, remain calm. Is it, is it, is it too much to ask? Is it really too much to ask just to see the back straight? Please, show me the back straight, please. I just want to see what the chaos is like there. Just that cur- not even like the sake of surviving the challenge. Just curiosity, really, and this is a banging star. Sorry, go on. Oh, come on! I'm not going to gloat or say anything about the start we get this time. I'm just going to- react to what's happening and not get ahead of ourselves so we're behind the alpha i can see some space on the right we're going for it we're not going to try and die perish though because we're a bit too far back just roll the car through oh but oh are you serious the space i saw and an ai just has to crash straight into the wall and block off the path 
Forget Perez. Up ahead, the Renault just decides to bro block the entire path there on the right with the Ferrari car as well there. So okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, we're off again. I don't know what... I really don't... I don't know what attempt this is now. Maybe 20. Who knows? We'll never know. But we're on the outside. No one's crashing. I'm going to take a bit more aggressively around the outside there to maybe get one or two more. Oh, my. Yes. Go on. Okay. P9. We're, this is... This could be promising, you know. This could be very promising. Right. Now we can maybe actually make it to the uh, to the main straight and see what chaos ensues there. The Alpha at Meta. Oh, no, not Alpha at Meta. He's actually going for the move. No, stop this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Alpha, please. I swear to God. Right, we're good. Okay, easy. On the left. Power, full pack. There we go. Here we are. Oh, oh, we're here. We're here on the main straight. Okay, let's see. AI, what you got for me in that hairpin? Is there going to be any chaos and garnage? I want to see. Right, here we are. Where are where's our brake zone? On the inside there. Oh, there's a bit of... Oh, there's a big car park. Can we get around the outside? Oh, uh, oh, oh! I got the turning circle wrong. I think three cars took themselves out here. I could have got a podium, I think. But the turning... Look at the turning circle here. I'm full lock. I didn't even, th I didn't even throttle on as well, I'm pretty sure. Just full lock turning. And it's got the turning circle of HMS Slow. You made it, though. We made it to the Holy Land, the hairpin. And it was a crash. It wasn't as crazy as I thought, but there was a pileup that did take out three cars. So we could get quite a high position, you know, because I think guaranteed most of the time they will crash at their hairpin. So we get lucky with a big crash at the start here. We could be in the money as we switch to the inside. And you know what? This has actually worked out quite well. Oh, crash there. Oh, it's taken out quite a few cars, you know. P12. Uh, drift through. Okay, we're not in the top 10 anymore, like we were on the last attempt, but we are P12. There's a big amount of space ahead of me, so all we need to do now is just wait for a crash up ahead, and we're golden. We're going to get to P10, and we just need to survive that um, that hairpin. Right now, though, no, oh my god, sorry, I took my hand off the keys there. Easy, oh, there's, it's two by two. Oh, the racing point's taking himself out. P11. Good. Maybe one more position. Sainz and Kafiat so going to crash. They're so going to crash up ahead, surely. No, they don't. Very surprised at my teammate there not crashing with the Russian. Okay, but we need to gain one position now. We basically need a crash at the hairpin or sector three. Because otherwise, we're not getting P10 here and the challenge won't count. Come on. Surely. Ocon. Kafiat. Sainz. Show me the money as we try and catch up a little bit. Where's the brake zone here? Brake, 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 brake. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, there's no crash at the hairpin. Ah, oh, no, I crashed at the hairpin. Oh, that's such a simple, that's such a kindergarten of crash that was. That's, oh, I'm actually upset at myself there. I just accelerated way too much. I just didn't clock the, the, the well, he's just, uh, he actually did crash with the Renault. And that's what slowed him down, actually. I think he just panicked because I had so much more apex speed. And uh, that was it. It's getting to that point, you know, you, you can tell there's that difference in slight tone from this is just a bit of fun and you know it's a bit of a wild situation to now it is truly starting to vex me once again as it always does would survive and oh what's happened here there's a lot of space here for us to work with can we just uh, easy does it come on everyone survive through here no pile up please around the outside oh, it's three wide up here that's very dangerous but we made it through p13 you know okay good okay no don't care about legal overtakes we're fine right there's a crash behind me uh, at, uh, at the main straight. The science and stroll side by side. We've got a lot of side by sides actually up ahead of me. I'm actually going to catch up. Do I dare go for the dive here? Do I try and get P10 or at least P11 on the right? I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Send it. Send it. Oh, 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 damn it. Oh, that knee worked, you know. I actually almost made that double overtake work. Attempt number 5,103. May as well be. It feels like that many... Many, Jesus, God, I just looked over my second monitor and just seen how long I'm rec I've been recording for. My God, this has been way too long. Oh, my God, I want to cry now. Please, can we... So, no, no, oh, oh, okay, no, I was a bit... Oh, there's a bit of front wing there. I'm getting PTSD from that Baku. Uh, that time we got so many punches at Baku through debris, but we're fine. We're good. Now, we just need to... Well, make some overtakes, but I'll just survive this. I'm not going to try to dive on the inside. Or I'm actually, you know what? These cars are slow. Geo's so slow there. Oh dear. 
Uh, I'm going to have to hand back, but also I'm wary that Latifi and Russell are right behind me, and the Williams love to try and crash me like this. Look at him go. Look at this, Williams. He's overtaken me. I've actually lost the position. This is going horrendously. I need four positions now to get P10. Come back here. No, I'm not having this. We're getting Russell to the hairpin. It's happening. Come on. Give chase. Come on, McLaren. Pull. Pull. Pull some more. Come on. Yes, we're gaining on him. Right. Move on the right-hand side. Easy, Danny. Ah, 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 oh. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Danny inside. No. 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 Engine off. Engine off. Well, I was either not going to make it because of this U-shaped pileup or the Williams car who decided, you know what, I'll continue on the left-hand side and just go with him on the dive bomb. That was, this is a scenery of absolute misery, this is. This is, this is not good. The further I'm getting into the track, the more clever and aggressive the AI are becoming. Like, that was the first time we got overtake, re overtaken by a car. Uh, that's not on. We can't, we can't afford that. We're in P17. I need to gain seven positions. That's hard enough. Let alone being overtaken by one car, at least. It'd be now pile down on the right. And we were very... Oh, you know what? I think the F1 gods ha have come down to me with the good stuff. Because there's a massive crash up ahead by me. And we're in P4. Thank you very much, F1 gods. Thank you very much. And now, in a very anticlimactic fashion, I can just drive through on a nice Sunday drive. And I can enjoy Vietnam on a keyboard. And knowing that I can come through to come into P10 and survive Hanoi. It would be very, very out out right now for uh, the uh, remaining AI cars up ahead of us. Three. Just to crash at some point in Sector 3. And just like, at the last minute, there's there's a car just stricken. That um that that just like gets me out. That would be very that would be very on brand, but I think we're actually fine. I think they're actually okay here. I just need to survive this. Oh god. Oh, this is the first time Ah, oh, this is the first time I've driven this section on the keyboard. Right, easy does it, please. Uh lift off. Easy break. Come on, good. Actually, you know what? It's actually quite flowing on a keyboard, you know? Vietnam, actually not too bad on the keyboard. Oh, look at that apex. Lovely. Here we go, boys. This is it. Uh, well, apologies. It's been quite quite anticlimactic at the end here on the last attempt. But that's what happens when they take each other out in one go. And we made it through. And there we are. Lap number two. And we have survived Hanoi, Vietnam for the very first time on the F1 game. And I'm sure for many, many years to come, there will be many other survived Vietnam. I thought that was uh, pretty decent, actually. Although, it kind of reminded me of Russia. Quite top-heavy at the start of the circuit. Not much happened in Sector 3, you know. But I guess that's because there's not enough cars for instance there. But that is Survive Hanoi. If you guys did enjoy it, then be sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you are new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly fall-on content. And if you want me to do Survive Zandvoort next, let me know in the comments. But I've been around for I hope you guys enjoy it today. Goodbye.